I think everything that they do is fascinating. Um, it's intriguing to watch their response to various things that you might do to them. But they've got to be your friends too, so... And I suppose I do get two, maybe one sting a day. It just has very little effect on me now. Well, that was many years ago now that, that I got started into bees. Um, when I was teaching on New A Island, the neighbour was a beekeeper. We went around and looked at various hives and he was intriguing to watch. After I came back from New A, I decided that it would be a good thing to get into beekeeping. Once you get into beekeeping, you, you have to deal with the honey that's being produced. You've got to find some way of um, getting it sold, I guess. And to do that, you have to run the beekeeping as a business. It um, costs quite a lot of money to get a stall at the um, farmer's market. It, it's better if you can put a stall at the street and have the people come and buy it from the stall and, and that's what I've done and built up a, a friends, I call them. I, my label is Paul and Friends. Friends could be the bees, the friends could be the people who are purchasing the honey and, and that seems to work very well. People quite quite like the idea of um, being associated with the, with the little business that you have. Yeah, one of the things I quite like about this store is that the honesty side of it. People will put eight dollars in here quite willingly and take a jar of honey away. But very rarely do I um, get it stolen. It's, it really is encouraging. I know a lot of the neighbours are into buying honey from me, but it, it has a lot come from some distance away too. People start to think that honey that's processed locally or in their area or they know how it's processed, they prefer that to the big commercial operation. Put that one there, wait for it to stop dribbling. Put that one over there. Problems do come up from time to time. I'm getting to the stage now where I'd want to cut back and cutting back is not easy. Uh, I'm now 77 and I reckon I started about 37, so when you're working bees, I suppose you could be in a position where um, it could be awkward to get people to come over and I have to be very careful if I'm kneeling that I don't put my hip out or do something stupid. I think you can beekeep as long as you're physically fit, really. I'd like to keep going and while I'm still looking after them in a reasonable way. Will I, will I uh, end up dying in the, in the garden with bees, surrounded by bees? That'd be all right, I, I wouldn't object to that. <laughs>